I've been out of jail for about over four years now. Last time I was in was in 2007. I've been out of jail for five years. Five months now, I was released from prison July 27th of this year. Seven years. I got sick of building up this empire of money and drugs and respect and power. I was out for four months thinking it was going to be different this time. I got sent back to jail for another two year sentence. I was good at selling drugs and my dad taught me how to do it actually. It's because uh, cause he seen me going in a direction where I was going to hang around with some working girls. So he taught me how to sell dope. And I took over his house. And um, the next door cracked three houses by the time I was 13. In December 2011, seven former inmates met for the first time since doing time together. They thought that they were going to sit around and talk about life after prison. Instead, they became writers and actors unpacking personal stories of some of the barriers facing ex-cons as they struggled to remain free women. Over the course of a couple of days with the help of the filmmakers, they wrote, shot and acted in short vignettes meant to bring forth these stories. Hey Cherry, how you doing? Yeah, there's a big bonfire down the street there. You want to go? No, well, let's I smoke can't a joint. That guy that you were looking at the other day, he's there. Come on. No, oh, come on. Get even. lucky. I got my baby. Well, we'll smoke a joint and then we'll walk over and take, drop the baby off. And see. So, would that happen realistically? All my friends coming to see me and, oh yeah, there's a big party here, right? And I'm like, got my mom to watch him and I ended up staying out all night. That was my first baby. And I came back, my mom was drunk, and I lost my kid. I don't know how many hours I've volunteered for free, how much free work I've done. You know, everybody wants you to go do this and this and this, but when it comes down to it, no one really wants to hire you. So I did all their little tests, and then they asked about a criminal record, and I was honest. I said, I have a criminal record. Yes, you're perfect for this. We need you, you know. Criminal record, it doesn't matter. I think maybe they thought I would have like a parking ticket or something. Hey, 